Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on robot framework. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks for all the support. If you are a new visitor or a regular visitor to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. To subscribe to this channel, click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the updates. In the last session, we have seen how to make use of a for loop. In this session, uh, we will take a look at data driven testing using robot framework. We all know that robot framework is a keyword driven. There is a possibility of making it as a data driven also. So for this, I'm going to go back again to um, the internet hero .com, and then I'm going to take the login example again, which is form authentication. So whenever we test this particular page so we will make use of uh, the positive test cases and the negative test cases the positive test case is you know entering the valid username and valid password and uh, only the the data value will change for the negative test case even though the keyword remains the same but the test data input will be different so let us see how to do it Okay, um, I'm going to take the the example which we have started off with, which is a simple Selenium UI, and then I'm going to copy this and then paste it into the same folder. I'm going to call it as keyword driven. Okay, so let me close all of these and then just open keyword driven robot file. Okay, so log into Heroku app. So this is what we want to test it. For the time being, I'm going to take out the logout functionality. browser as well and we are going to make use of arguments here and so we will pass in the username and password as arguments And under input text, I'm going to use the, the variables which we get the values into the arguments, which is dollar uname and dollar you pass. So I'm going to take out this. Now I need to call with uh, different uh, data values. Um, the first one is a valid one, which is um, Tom Smith. And the password is super secret password with the bank. Okay, the second test case is again This is invalid yeah. um, username and 
correct password. So this is how we write different test cases um, in our normal scenario. But in this case, what I'm going to do is, so since it is just using this particular keyword with the different data values, so I'm going to get rid of these and instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to add here something called test template and the test template contain the the keyword which we are going to call login to Heroku app okay so what this test template will do is for each of the test case, so it is going to refer to this particular keyword. Okay, so now under test cases, remove everything. The test case is common now. Um, so login test. So this is my test case now. And inside this, I'm going to pass in the values. One is Tom Smith and super, super secret password. And the second will be Tom with the correct password. Correct username with invalid password. Okay, so what this will do is, so since we have defined a test template here uh, for, for this particular test case, whenever it runs, then the values gets passed to this particular keyword, which is defined in test template. And that will make use of the values which are being passed. So after clicking login, I need to close the browser here. Okay, save this and let me run this. As you can see, it is opening the, okay, so this is a correct username and then it is running the test again with invalid username and the third time it is with invalid password so let us go and look at the the log file So if you look at the log file now, there is one test case which contains multiple data values. Okay, so this is my first test case, this is my second test case and this is my third test case. or this is my first iteration, this is my second iteration, and this is my third iteration with different data values. So this is how we can make a particular test case data-driven by using test template. One thing to note here is you cannot have multiple test templates per suite. So you can only have one test template per sweet that is the end of this session thanks for watching if you have any comments suggestions please post it under comment section under the video i will see you in the next video